page 109 lesson 2 let me not to the marriage of true minds william shakespeare let me not to the marriage of true minds admit impediments love is not love which alters when it alteration finds or bends with the remover to remove oh no it is an ever fixed mark that looks on tempests and is never shaken it is the star to every wandering bark whose worth's unknown although his height be taken love's not time's fool though rosy lips and cheeks within his bending sickle's compass come love alters not with his brief hours and weeks but bears it out even to the edge of doom if this be error and upon me proved i never writ nor no man ever loved about the poet william shakespeare 1564 to 1616 was one of the greatest poets and dramatists of the english language born at stratford on even england he went to london where his reputation as a dramatist and poet was established his sonnets 154 in number probably written between 1593 and 1598 were published in 1602 the above sonnet is sonnet number 116 in which we have a depiction of true love his voluminous work includes 37 plays and two narrative poems page 110 the following two common words are used in a different sense in the poem guess what they mean bark compass understanding the poem 1 constancy is the theme of the poem indicate the words phrases and images that suggest the theme 2 why do you think the poet has used so many negatives to make his statement 3 what does the line i never writ nor no man ever loved imply 4 love is presented as the subject or doer of actions in the poem why do you think the poet has used this form rather than involving human agents 5 explain the phrases a his bending sickle's compass b times fool try this out this poem is a shakespearean sonnet 1 what do you understand by a sonnet 2 look at some other sonnets and notice the variations in the structure of the sonnet that are possible suggested reading 1 shall i compare thee by william shakespeare 